Hey guys, in this video we will be upgrading and reviewing the Principe Electro. The Electro can be purchased from Legendary Motorsports and has two prices, a trade price and a reduced price. The trade price is $997,500 and the reduced price is $750,000. To unlock the reduced price, you will have to complete the final of the Pacific Standard job. A quick note if you're watching this video between the 7th and the 14th of May 2020. It is on a 35% discount and the prices are $487,500 for the reduced price and $648,375 for the trade price. So don't miss this opportunity if you are thinking of getting one. To fully upgrade the Electro, it will cost around $300,000. So in total, it will cost you about $1.3 million if you pay trade price and $1 million if you pay the reduced price. So with this information, it is actually quite expensive. The reason it is so expensive for a civilian motorbike is because it comes with a boost mechanic like the F1 cars have. If you're still not sure what I'm talking about, the boost is basically a short thrust of speed for about 4 seconds and will recharge when you stop accelerating. Without the boost this car would be way overpriced and even with the boost the bike is still quite overpriced for how it performs. So does the performance justify the price of the Electro? I would say no, it is very expensive for what it can do and is not the best looking bike either. If you are wondering what a better alternative is, I would suggest the Batty 801 which is only $16,000 or if your budget is bigger than the Nagasaki Shintoro which is a very good bike and will cost you $2,225,000. You can find the Batty on Southern San Andreas and the Shintoro on Legendary Motorsports. Thanks for watching, if you enjoyed then subscribe and leave a like. And if you have any video suggestions, make sure to let me know in the comment section below and I'll consider all of them.